This program contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, is a thought of peace to give you a hope and a future. When God created every one of us, his thought for us is a thought of peace, is a thought of joy, is a thought to give us a bright future, a, a wonderful future. That is why God made man and also gave woman as the helpmate. Good evening, everyone. We want to welcome every one of us out there watching to Living Couple. My name is Oluwato Yolale Kwan. Living Couple, Living Couple, Living Couple. Couple that are living according to the will of God. It is a beautiful thing to be married. It's a beautiful thing to love one another. It's a beautiful thing. When we stay in the will of God, we will discover that the reason why he brought us together is for us to have a pleasant and a wonderful life. That is what Living Couple is all about. And I want to specially tell everyone out there that this episode is going to be a very wonderful and interesting one. And for you that are watching for the first time, we want to say kudos to you. It's nice seeing you, even though we cannot see you physically, but we are seeing you at the same time. Living Couple is all about couples, marriages, we, ta we handle issues, we tackle problems. Questions are sent in so that we can answer the questions as the Holy Spirit helps us. I'm not here alone. I am here with beautiful and wonderful and handsome man. Beautiful woman, handsome man. And when I say that, you know, oh uh, you will know that their spouse is doing wonderful things. And I want to specially mm -hmm. welcome Pastor Tokubo Ariola. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, man. You know, I didn't complete that statement. Mm -hmm. He expects me to say sunshine. Because <laughs> <laughs> once I say that sunshine, mm, he's always uh, smiling. So yes, I want sir. to say kudos to sunshine Thank for you, taking man. care of uh, Pastor Tokubo Ariola. And you, also man. we have, mm, mm. Mm, she's also doing, mm, mm. Pastor Mrs. Golda Dioye, mm. the wife of the open man in oh, the house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She is married to a Yoruba man. Oh my goodness. And we can see the good mm. touch of the Yoruba man on her. Mm. Mm. We want to say you are welcome, ma. Thank you, mommy. Mm. Abi, Thank you want you, to deny that we are not taking I'm care of you? That, that, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loyal. Yes, yeah, so. We want to thank, at least the Igbo gave her to us oh, I mean, when she was like this. Oh, my goodness. And <laughs> the Yoruba man transformed her oh. to like this. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. So thank you, Pastor Adioye, for taking good care yeah. of this woman. Yeah. And uh, for those couples that are out there, I know that there is somebody taking care of you. Is that the man mm. taking care of the woman? Mm. Like uh, mm. uh, Pastor Adioye is taking care of Mommy Adioye. And also sunshine, taking care of <laughs> Pastor Ariola. Oh so uh, we are there to take care of one another. Yeah. And as we do that, we will be shining. Oh. Amen. We will be shining. Amen. Sure. And the world will celebrate us. Amen. Yes, we have um, people sending in questions. And for those that are just watching for the first time, if you have any challenge, any question that is bothering your mind, we appreciate you send it in. Just send us a text message. There are numbers that will be scrolling on the screen. Just send us those text messages and we will read your questions. And by the grace of God, we will answer them. If we don't answer them this edi edition, we assure you definitely we will read your question and it will be answered by the grace of God. We want to start all things with a word of prayer coming from Pastor Tokumbo Ariola. Shall we pray? Daddy Lord, we love you. We are grateful for another opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. Keeping us alive. That is, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going into this program now. We are asking that you be the Alpha. Amen. Please be the Omega. Amen. Please take absolute control of this program. Amen. Holy Spirit Divine, 
We want to see your hand. We want to see your presence Amen. in this program. Amen. Every question asked, we ask that the Holy Spirit will help us, mm. will you know, help us to answer those questions mm. convincingly mm. so that at the end, peace will be restored. Mm. Joy will be restored Amen. into all the homes. Amen. At the end, your name will be praised. Amen. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. We just want to hear a word from uh, Pastor Mrs. Gold Adoye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible quickly to um, Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. It's a popular passage of the, of the scripture. And I just want us to quickly look at it together. Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. It says, For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him that they will keep the ways of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. I take it again, Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, that they shall keep the, ways, that they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. The second scripture I would like us to look at it's the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. Philippians chapter 4, verse 9. And it says, Those things which ye have both learned, received, and heard, and seen in me, do that the God of peace shall be with, with you. you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the first passage of the scripture where we read, this was God speaking about Abraham confidently. The Bible says God was talking about Abraham and he said, I know that Abraham is going to teach his children. Now, marriage is not just about you and your spouse alone. Marriage is a ministry. And it, take, it cuts across not just the way you treat your spouse, but the way you raise your children. If you look at the society today, it looks as if husband and wife, father and mothers, they are neglecting the fact that we need to concentrate on also training our children. Look at the society today. You see that moral values are gradually living out. Spiritual values are gradually living out. Why? Because a lot of us as parents were not paying attention to the fact that we are not just married. We are into ministry. Marriage is not just enough that I am married. Because if there is this rush. Once you get married, I want to get somebody I love. And immediately people go into marriage. You know, they have children, and it begins to look as if children are just products of marriage. They're just products. But no, children are responsibilities of marriage, not just products of marriage. So God was saying about Abraham, there was something God knew about Abraham that you're going to teach. So I want to throw it back to us this morning, as many of us that are this evening, as many of us that are listening. Can God say of you that he knows you that you're going to confidently teach your children? A lot of people don't even have time for money devotions. I remember in those days, people like us, most of the things we knew were on the altar of money devotion. Once my father rings that bell, my mother rings that bell, wherever you are, you are coming out for devotion. But now, because of the busy schedules of life, you see the husband is out of the house, you see the wife out of the house. This evening, we are saying that you need to check it. This is a new year. Make sure you carry your children along. And not just carry them along. Teach them. God was confident that, no, Abraham will teach. You don't worry. So can God say of that? Can you even be confident of yourself that you can say, what, what are the things your children know? Some of us, if, we, if, you, if you meet with some, some children outside, the way they talk is a reflection that, uh, no, 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 nobody is paying attention to this child. You see, even an L, you see a, 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 a youth or a teenager, will, a woman was sitting down in a ceremony, in a, in a location, and then a teenager came and said, Ma, stand up, that's my seat. No, that makes Everybody sense. in that place look at that guy. And we're like, you mean this mm. elderly woman older <laughs> than your mother should stand up because it's your seat? And when mm. the mother come, the mother was like, eh, but the boy was sitting there before. Mm -hmm. People left that boy and faced that woman. She was not treating this boy well. No matter what, at least mm. you should have taught this boy to respect elders. Yes. But nowadays, you see parents. I'm not saying uh, people should uh, uh, beat children anyhow. But you see parents who go to fight just because you correct their child. Mm. Even in church, you can't beat children. You, I mean, you can't even touch anybody because the mother will come to fight. Mothers, please. Remember those days. Come training. 
Moral values were being taught by everybody. And I also want to say this. A lot of us have relent. We don't want to talk to anybody anymore. Ah, don't talk to her. Uh, I don't want problem. See, by, the, by keeping quiet, we are causing more harm. When you see something wrong, please, let's correct these children. Mm. A lot of them don't even know. But by the time you correct, don't, don't shout on them. Correct in love. And that is why the, the second place that we read, Paul was the one writing here. He said, those things that you, you have both learned. learned. A lot of us have learned so much, but we're not doing anything about it. He said, those things you have learned, those things you have received, even the ones you have heard, the ones you have seen of me, do. It's not a law for you to learn. It's not a law for you to hear. We have been saying on this program, love your wife, love your husband, do well, do well. Are you doing it? That's the question. It's not a law for you to know. You know. Even the Bible says if you know to do good and you're not doing, doing it, not. it is wrong. Is yeah. So it is not enough for us to keep talking. You go to church, you hear message, open heaven, devotion every day, you are reading it. Are you doing it? Mm. So please, let's move from the stage of learning. The stage of hearing and move to the stage of doing. And I pray tonight that the Holy Spirit will release upon us the capacity to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, In Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that word. You know, it's very, very important about couple coming together, having children. It's not just having children to bear your name, mm. but having responsibility over those children, to be responsible, to train those children the way it should go. And you know, I was reading something um, from just what you said. Somebody, there was a write-up, somebody said, it is my duty. When I see other children, you know, going wrong, mm. it is my duty. Mm. It is also part of my duty to correct them. He said, because one day, mm. that untrained mm. child like that. can be my son's wife, Mm. Or my daughter's mm. husband. I like that. I like that. Because anyhow, the untrained child is still coming back to, to, somebody. This, to somebody. Oh, I like that. So when like we that. see others, mm. you know, see other children, we should correct them. My mommy, you know what the Holy Spirit is dropping in my mind now? Most of the problems we have in marriages, if you look at it, they are foundational problems. Mm. This man is not a man that is not helping the wife, or a woman that is not responsible at home. Trace it well. Mm. A lot of people come into marriage without knowing anything. anything. And it's not their fault. A lady married. She didn't know she was going to cook. <laughs> yeah, she didn't know. True life story. Because all her life, the mother was always bringing uh, a cooking paid cook to come. So she came into marriage not knowing. Thinking the cook will always cook, be there. Thinking the cook will be there or thinking uh, <coughs> the man too. You cook today, I cook tomorrow. I'm not saying the man should not help, but mm. there are basic responsibilities we need to teach. These are cultural values we need to, these are moral values we need to, to pass teach on and to our children. Imbibe into the children. Your, your, your daughter is here sitting down. Your boy child now raise his leg. Tell him to go and sweep. Who says boys cannot sweep? Tell him to go and cook. Who says yeah. boys cannot cook? That is the way he will now marry. Mm. He will now and become it, a problem to, 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 to wife. the wife. Mm. The, a yeah. wife will give birth in the hospital. Mm. The man will say, ah, I don't know how to cook, oh, no food. And the wife was there in the hospital starving. The woman had just gave birth. Mm. Just because the husband cannot cook. Okay. May God help us. Amen. Amen. Mm. You know, just like uh, a, a question that is here. Uh, I just want to thank you for that word. Just like what you are saying. Uh, someone said, mm. he said, please help. My husband is a pastor. Whether he's a pastor, her husband is a man. He is against house girl or nanny. I have three kids. Only her, are the only her she is the only one doing the cooking, the laundry with bare hands, cleaning. She says she is fed up. Please, what can I do? I don't want to disobey him. Now, just like what we, we said, I, you, you know, she, she didn't really come up to say everything, mm. but she's, she just paraphrased the, 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 exactly. the question, just to talk about only her cooking, laundry, laundry everything, laundry. she's the one doing all the chores, and yet the husband is Absolutely. against any nanny or house help. <laughs> so I think, uh, let me start from yes. Pastor. <laughs> I, I don't know what um, the, the agenda of the husband is. Uh, do you want your wife to walk and walk and walk and die? Wow. So um, if uh, the, the wife is the one doing the laundry, I believe she's the one sweeping, she's the one doing the kitchen work, and maybe she's even breastfeeding. 
um, uh, is is not too good, especially um, when we look at our ministry. Just like what Mommy said, is a ministry, and the pastor himself is also in in in, in the ministry. So the quest, the first question I ask, I want to ask is, if uh, a member of my church comes to me for this kind of problem, how do I solve it? Mm. Because um, um, I'm, I'm, as a pastor, I'm in, as a yeah. pastor mm. am I going to encourage such? Do I tell my counselee, the wife, that he should continue, continue. doing the work? <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to allow her to have a house boy or house girl to do the work. Uh, if it's a, it's a question of you don't want a house girl, what, what about house boy? Or maybe you, you get um, a washing machine to... To at least to, to ease, to all, the ease all the stress. Mm. It's, it's very, very dangerous, the, the, the labor that your wife is going through. Because I call it labor. It has gone beyond, you know, in those days. When you look at how, how they were living some hundred years ago, the kind of food we were eating, uh, you know, with uh, nutritious values. But today, and so you can't compare the kind of work our great-grandparents were doing and you want your wife to do at this time. So please, let's wake up and let's, let's do the right thing. Mm. It's either you get her a washing machine and you also show leadership. Mm -hmm. mm. Just like what mommy said, mm. your children are watching you. Mm -hmm. yes. You are laying a foundation for your male child because tomorrow mm. is going to uh, behave exactly the way you could are behaving. Be, be? Because he's growing up to see daddy mm. not doing, not doing not anything, doing anything by the time he gets married, he's going mm. to fold his arms and cross his legs. Could it be that this it? man believes that that's just a woman's job? Because some believe that this is, this is just it's part of the training we're talking of about. This Assuming that kind of a man has been taught mm. while he was growing up, mm. that For, you help at home, you sweep at home. He can't come into marriage. In fact, this thing we're talking about, ma, do you know that? Is it somebody like daddy? Daddy that was sharing that he even washed his wife's car. I mean, that, 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 see. this daddy that's sitting here, he washed his wife's car. <laughs> Sunshine. Exactly. This is the person that yeah, we now. So, uh, mm. uh, so, so, why are we talking mm, about? Mm, Look, yeah. man, this kind of question, to me, it's like the man is just taking the woman through another form that's of enough. abuse. That's it. There's another form of abuse. Mm -hmm. Because when you have just one person, now let's forget that this person is a woman. These are two people living together. together. And both of you are together, and you leave just one person to clean, you leave just one person to mop, you leave just one person to cook, you leave just one person to nurse. You are abusing that relationship. Mm. You are abusing that relationship. And then you are now also saying the person shouldn't get assistance. Any help. That is no another help at form all. of Most. abuse. Knowing that she's wearing out. Because mm -hmm. look, the day you pick up a broom and you try to sweep, that is where you will know. That sweeping is not funny. It's not easy at all. The day you bring out your clothes to wash, <laughs> I mean, you, bring, you really bring them out, and you are washing, is then you will know. Mm. You know when you start washing, you could be fine. But or, by the time you finish... If, if it's possible for mm. him to breastfeed, <laughs> and then go and, to, and, and, and sweep. And, and at the same time, I go mean, and cook. And you cook. Know, so men that are listening to us, we're begging you, please, don't, let, us, let us help. Mm. Don't, don't abuse. And to this woman... I would lastly encourage her to dialogue with her husband. Uh, maybe the man might look at it that it's not necessary. The man might not know because sometimes it could be ignorant. So I want to beg the woman to wake her husband up, maybe at the middle of the night or at a time where he knows the man is calm, and say, please, my sweetheart, this work is too much for me. You know, there's a way you will talk to your husband. Sweetheart, please. Ah, no, this work is too much. Ah, see my body. The last time I washed, oh, my body was paining me. Ah, maybe by the time both of you are on the bed and the man wants to together. enter the holies of holies, you don't just tell him, see that you see now. Eh, I would have, uh, you see now, it's just that the clothes are, since morning, only me. The man will listen. So calm him down, talk to him, beg him that, please, help me. Okay? So, and like that, he said, if he's to get uh, a washing maybe, machine. And maybe you can even ask him a direct question. You can call him, darling, do you want this relationship to continue or you want uh, 
to be a widower very soon. That's the direction he's going. Do you want to be a widower? Honestly. That's it. I mean. You see, you have to ask the, some husband some questions. Mm. Wow. Do you want to be a widower? I have asked somebody like that before because mm. the, the man was treating the wife this way. I said, the way you are going, mm. very soon you are going to be a widower. And that's when his eyes opened. opened. Sometimes you have to tell these people the truth. Mm. Shabi was sharing uh, the, the story of one woman who gave birth and the I husband refused to help, help her. And while the woman was, was washing, washing she, collapsed she collapsed and died. And died. Hmm. Please, let's help ourselves. Let's help ourselves. The Bible says clearly, mm. housekeeping is a job of the woman. And the Bible says clearly, to be responsible, that is, a man who is doesn't provide for his family is most mm. an idea. We know it's the responsibility of the man. Mm. But remember, the same Bible also said, Submitting one to, to another. another. Mm. So when the man is not able to provide all the financial responsibility, you as the wife assist. And the Bible and, and also says... And when the says, woman too cannot uh, <laughs> do all Lord the tasks, so, uh, the uh, man assist. should assist. Yes, that will say something. And the Bible also says that the woman is a weaker vessel, it's, uh, even in strength. Mm. First Peter 3, 7. It's there in the Bible. But you, but I've and had, we are I've pastors. Had, I've had a man, you know, said... Hey, even though the Bible said weaker verses, but the woman is wired that way. Hmm. She can do this, she can do three, four things. Yes, we know women can say they can do things like that. So you can't compare a man, a woman can like do it all. It's what at we a were cost. eating in those days, is it what we are eating It's at now? a cost, man. In those days, people were eating vegetable right from mm. the farm mm. that has some nutrients, that, but today, mm. everything is, I mean... Even, you're not even sure of so the gari you are eating. eating. Whether it's pure gari or they have mixed. You know? treated, so, but the thing, oh, oh, mm. the, the kind of strength we used to have, have in the 60s, 70s, people like you, the kind of food, I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are still the young guys. <laughs> Mommy, oh, my. <laughs> mm. You know, now, to even compare our children that are eating, mm. or All sugar, this, mm. uh, Let's mm. help ourselves. That's just the Honestly, let's help it's ourselves. an issue. It's so, an issue. This, this question is an issue. It is. And mm. it's really, really bothering mm. so many mm. couples. Mm. Uh, so please, if you, do, if you cannot get a house help or whatever for her, maybe, you know, some had bad experiences mm. yes. of the hard from others, what the house helps have done. the man does not even trust himself. Uh, oh, well, so uh, it's possible. Maybe the man does not even trust himself with house help. Yeah, mm -hmm. He knows his temptation and the man is, hey, don't bring, no, don't house bring help. it. No problem. Mm. But if you know that is your problem, then help. Mm. Even if it's washing machine. Uh, which one is? Yeah. She, washing you know? with hands, ah, cleaning. Right. Hmm. So please, so don't let her look older than uh, her age. Her age. Hmm. This one says, I once, well, I, he said it was once bad, as in cheating on his wife. Said, but since two years now, he has re he has stopped and God repented. Said, God is his witness. Said, I tried everything to let my wife know that I don't cheat anymore, but she never believed me. The worst of that whole thing is that, said, my wife does not respect. She always contend with me. Said, she's always contending with me. He said, please, we are watching now. What? Should we do now? He's talking about a man that was once a cheat. Therefore, he's uh -huh. a man being now he's a new, a new creature. creature. So he is new now, but the wife is not seeing mm. that new nature. Sure. The wife is rather seeing the old nature. Let's start with you, sir. Yes, uh, if uh, your husband has, uh, if one's husband has repented, and he came out openly, and he has said he has repented, just believe him. Have that little belief and begin to perceive him and react to him without belief. Even if you are still sitting on the fence, because you believe and you connect with God, you will see that God will eventually perfect him. But in a situation whereby you don't even believe, you have not accepted his repentance, it will not work well for you because we need peace in that your home. We pray for joy in that uh, your home. Amen. And it must start from action from you. You know, the other time when I was uh, sharing with you, I spoke about action. There are some things you have to do. And so in this case, you've got to believe him and, um, mm. and um, forgive him. After all, God forgives. And um, God said that the only sin uh, that should not be forgiven is uh, 
491 sins in a day. That's, that, that's the scripture. Mm. 491. In so if it's still less than uh, 490, you just have to forgive. You must have the art of forgiveness and you will see him changing. Um, you, you, you would have laid a solid foundation for him to, to really, really change completely. Okay. Yeah. All right, ma. Okay, uh, to add to just what they have said, the best form of apology is a changed behavior. Mm. When you sin against somebody or you cheat on somebody, don't really, really, really concentrate on apologizing. Concentrate on you changing. And one of the evidence that you have changed is that it has to be visible. So this question is saying... It's said for two years. You are saying two years with mouth and the wife is not seeing anything. So there's question mark. It's just like you say you are a Christian and it's not reflecting. So we don't care how many number of years you profess to have changed. We're, talking for, we're asking for results. What's the evidence? You, could, you, you, you are the one that knows you have changed. You are not seeing anything. You say you have changed. You are still coming home late. You say you have changed. You are still persuading your phone. You say you have changed. Look, the best form of apology is a change behavior. You change to the extent. And let me tell you, trust is end. It's not demanded. Yeah. You cheated on your wife. The next thing, even it's a two-way, because we also have women who cheat on their husband. So it's a two-way. It's not only men. Once there is a, pro, a, 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 a case of cheating in that marriage, you are not working on uh, trying to really, yeah, you apologize, but you are working on for your salvation to be evident. Even the Bible says, work it out. Let's work see. Work out your salvation. So work out your apology. Mm. Be, be more real. But there are fruits which are not Thank yeah. you, sir. So you have changed. <laughs> two years, you have changed. And two years, Three the years, wife is not seeing it. And the wife is still doubting. What is making her doubt? There must be something making her doubt. Mm. So you concentrate on what is making her doubt. Mm. You be, be more open. Let us see it. Look, yeah. there is no woman, no matter how uh, bad, let me, let me permit you to use that word, a woman can be with the atmosphere of love, constant love. She will melt because that is also the way a woman is wired. Mm. So when you come back home, you used to cheat, uh, chat with her before, but now you say, I've changed your but you enter your room and the woman is wondering in her mind, eh, mm. maybe she's chatting with another oh. woman. And then you come out of the room and say, Can't you believe me? I've changed. No, no. brother, that's not the way to change. Change rightly. Mm. Change, change the right, right way. <laughs> change. When you, she's calling you, pick a call. Not that she, she's calling you two, three times after the photo and I say, hello, sweetheart, I saw your missed call. No. And then she'll begin to doubt in her mind. Well, she's human, no? Let me tell you the truth. And you have you, lost you, that trust. You have before. lost. It's a trust you lost. Mm. So you are trying to bring it back. And like Daddy have said, women too, we need to calm down sometimes and give our husbands benefit of doubt. Mm. Because the way a man is wired too is not the way a woman is wired. Okay, so men don't talk too much. So mm. when a man tells you, I, I, I've, I've done this, you know, just like we have spoken to the man, women too, you know, let's talk to ourselves. When a man says, trust. I've done this, please, mm. let's give benefits of that because they don't talk too much. Mm. They, they, they don't, are, keep, don't keep nagging on And don't mm. keep nagging. nagging In fact, you, you could make the man have a dick by uh, reminding him. Uh, but we have said it, one of the greatest things that can make a woman refer is, your, is when your change is not evident. So, but when your change is evident, ah, even you, when you want to refer to it, she'll be like, ah, yeah, no, 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 don't worry. The <laughs> woman that you are coming back home, uh, uh, you are buying yeah, things, you are, ah, yeah. she will forget. Mm. Ah, is it not that song? Mm. What do you think makes somebody to forget? forget yeah. It is an evidence that come. Mm. When an evidence that come is silence mm. the past. The past so yeah. Bring an evidence to the table, not just your words. Mm. May God help us. Amen. Amen. So... <laughs> To the man out there that is asking this question, you need to still sit down and check yourself. Let the evidence show, sure. and then everything. Let the evidence be, be more than your apology. Oh, okay, let it be more than your apology, <laughs> and the Lord will help the wife Amen. to, you know, accept the man as well. This one is interesting. He said, "Good evening, sir, ma." He said, "On my wedding reception, my wife left me on the chair. I went to ensure sharing of the gifts." And she eventually got involved in a quarrel. Ensure in what, ma? <laughs> Sharing. She, oh, the, okay. You, the, 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 the maybe like taking away gifts. Uh -huh, maybe oh the gift goodness. that the, she, she mm. got up from yeah. the, the chair, the chair no. left the man there, okay. and went to make sure that A and B, yeah. you know, is well distributed and everything. Yeah. And in the process, there That's was a quarrel. quarrel. Oh. And she got involved in the quarrel. So oh. what can this kind of a man <laughs> do? The wedding reception. The wedding. They've not even reached house. So. 
Oh my God! Uh, it yes, was, sir. Yeah, I have to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, it was it was not proper for the for the uh, woman. the woman to have left the high table. I, I guess they were on the high table. <laughs> they were on the high table. <laughs> so, <laughs> so why should with our wedding gown and everything? Why, why should, he, <laughs> should she leave the high table? When we are, mm. she's supposed to have friends that she should mm. have handed over all no this. Sense. And this is what we always tell them during mm. marriage counseling. Mm. On this particular day, leave everything to God and to the people you have handed over this assignment to. Mm. Not for you to go to there. Some people, it. they are perfectionists. Oh, until I get there, things will not be, be done. done. Properly, I think it's a, it's a wrong approach. Mm. Well, this has already happened, but for those who are going into uh, marriage on the day of wedding, please try and stay put with your husband. Uh, this kind of a thing is, is not good at all. I, I can imagine the, the camera, the, the camera recording everything. everything. And, and you see her there. By the time your children are watching videos, mm. say, Mommy, on what the happened? day of your wedding, you are fighting. <laughs> I mean, we should think ahead of, of the implication of what, what mm. we are doing. Mm. Things we can avoid, let's try and avoid it mm. as children of God. When yes, mommy started with that question, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was like she stood up from that chair to go and collect food. Honestly, that was what came to my mind. That, <laughs> oh, my wife, but to go and share gifts, gifts? you know, um, um, mm. the question is saying, what can she do? Mm. Honestly, the husband needs to pray. Mm. Needs to mm. pray. That those she has offended will forgive her. Because she must have forgiven one or two people. Because in the process of you gave me, you did not give me. Mm. That day is a very sensitive a day. day. And we keep telling parents that that day is not a day for even you to be carried away with the activities of the day. It's a time for you to be in the spirit. Because you don't know what, it, 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 it might not be ordinary. Something must have pushed that girl to stand oh up and go and do what she had done. On her wedding day. On her wedding day. And please, marriage counselors that are listening to us in churches, I want you also to emphasize this. People, those of us that are involved mm. in offering premarital counseling, please emphasize this more just like Daddy said. The day of your wedding is not a day to share gifts. The day of your wedding is not a day to run around. Whatever arrangement you did not do till the time you enter church, please, it's no longer worth it. Forget about it. And if for any reason you need to do something, whisper to your bridesmaid. That is why you have a chief bridesmaid. That is the reason. You don't have a stiff bridesmaid just for her to wear clothes and uh, dress fine. No, you also have that there for her to be responsible to one, of the, one or two things you want to do. So please, people who want to get married, take your marriage counseling seriously. Somebody sent me a message and said, uh, please, you want to marry, uh, recommend books. I said, no. In our CCG, we don't recommend. We go through. We don't just, yeah, we read books, but we don't, uh, for you to marry, it's not enough. Yeah, there are books, but we don't do just go. No. no. So she now said, eh, I relocate. I said, go back. Go back to where you are coming from. Go where from. you are coming from and go and do marriage counseling. Don't be carried away. <laughs> People are running away from marriage counseling. Mm. Eh, I met her so that we can do fast no, before the husband we go. Hey, <clears throat> you are rushing. You better don't rush because the way you rush in, you will rush, rush, rush out. Like a rush out. So please calm down. Allow the husband to hear. Allow that boy, man to hear. Things that are required for him as a man. Allow that woman to hear the things that are required of her as a woman. And please, counsel us, don't let us forget that aspect. Because it's not an issue. People are now standing up on wedding day. So let's be reminding them mm. that they need to, to sit down. Mom, mom, in fact, I uh, <laughs> just have had some experiences. Uh, uh, for instance, at a uh, you know, wedding church uh, ceremony, in which I was ministry, and then, you know, I just uh, discovered that so much distraction, as this one was talking to the husband, the other no, one was talking to the, to the bride, and then there was so much distraction. The reason for that day is because of the couple. And so it, it is their show. There should not be uh, any chance for, for distraction. You know, distraction. And that's how it starts, all those little, little things. The Bible says the, the, uh, a little so, leaven, leavened the whole lump. All those things we don't normally pay attention to, yeah. and which is why we always ask uh, ushers to stay by if anybody wants to come around. Say no, no. It's no. not even the Let, time they are preaching. It's not they the time they should discussing. start. You can't try that in Orthodox churches, ah. and that's why when they are preaching in Orthodox churches, they they put something by the door. No movement, because that's the reason for all, all programs. And so we should avoid things like that that will bring a uh, distraction. 
Um, like in this case, God will have mercy. Amen. 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 Mm. I, I pray for that home that there will be peace Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Because it's not starting on yeah. a good note, good note at, at all. all. But then the man that said it, Mommy, go said, pray. You mm, need to that's pray. That's what you can do. Honestly, pray. you need to pray. And I know God will intervene. Amen. Ah, this one says, please, ah, ma, what do, what do a woman do? Okay, what can a woman do if her husband always wants to pay all the bills in the house? House rent, school fees, everything. He said, what can she do? She this should be thanking is. God. <laughs> what? <laughs> he should be thanking God. You have a husband. Or maybe he didn't want me to respond. No, no, no. Yeah, you started already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't... Uh, should there be a question on that? He should be praising God. I think the woman is really bothered, you know? And uh, like a woman is supposed to do uh, something. Uh, well, well, uh, 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 well, yeah, well, that is said. Uh, and it could also depend on the attitude at which the man is paying it. You know, there are some people who have this attitude like, I'm the boss here. You are just, just sit down and watch me. Yeah, and the material. woman is bothered. Ah, this is supposed to be mutual. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's do this together. I, I was trained to assist my husband, you know. So in this case, I don't know the reason, the attitude she has perceived. If she perceived that the man is saying, I'm the boss here, I would advise her not to challenge the man because the man is just trying to be a man. Then let her channel her own resources to another oh, thing. Nothing. You cannot be spending on the man. Okay? Yes. Spend on the man. Mm. For such people like that, they forget themselves. Men who are spenders, who take care of... They, sometimes they forget themselves. Okay. You know? Buy him things. Take... I mean, sometimes both Surprises of you go... Surprise so him. Okay? And then as a woman, pay attention... Maybe the man is paying bills. You pay attention to the house. Maybe the interiors. When you go out, buy flowers. Decorate the house. So you use your money to... You know, and lastly, you can save. Because let me tell you the truth. No matter how strong a man is, they always have a low day. No matter how, in fact, even if the man is, <laughs> no matter how, there will be a day that we need maybe he just finished a project. Maybe he just, there will be a time when he is. So at such time, and then you can also invest your money in taking care of his parents. Okay? He is paying the bills around the house. Then find out about mama. Is mama Okay. So you can use your money to do to other things. So things. it's not really, don't, don't worry, I understand how you feel. Uh, I understand how you feel because you might be looking at, ah, uh ah, -uh, the demand. Uh, I know most women will even shout her. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, a, a, a woman like this is, is worried. Are you, are you sure one day the woman might not come? Because you know what, ma? There are some men who even use it as a statement. What is your contribution in this house? Am I not the one feeding you? Am I not the one clothing you? Am I the one bringing the bills? So what is your contribution? To the extent that even when the woman wants to talk, yeah. they are shunning her down. Hey, yeah. Don't discuss. Don't talk anything. I'm the one paying bills here. So case, the woman the is woman worried. Not, no, uh, that's what I'm saying now. It's, no, no, it's no, possible. Uh, yes. She didn't really come out. Come out. So we don't really know the reason. And that is why I'm giving it. If your husband is the bossy type you have known, please don't argue with him. That's just the way he is. He wants to be a man in that regard. And like Daddy said, you are even fortunate. Fortunate. You are man. not. <laughs> <laughs> you are really fortunate. So divert your energy to other places. So please, it's not something that should cause an issue with your husband. Okay? And there are some ways that you even spend on the man. He will now be happy and uh, he will even say, ah, ah, you are even mm. doing it. And if you have done this, maybe the day you now buy something for him, the man will say, no, 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 I don't want. Then keep saving. Continue. Exactly. Keep saving. Or you keep investing. I mean, no money is lost. Exactly. You will see that money in the future. future. Your kids will go to school. And exactly. let me tell you, by the time your kids grow, there are some money they will ask from mommy that is mm. mommy's mm. money. money. Mm. There, there are some money they will ask. In fact, they will tell you, eh, we have collected this from daddy. Your own. Your, own. your own. So at that point, and then the future, nobody knows the future. Mm. So God might be using you to prepare that man for the future. So sure. don't let it cause a problem in your home. Exactly. And this is not a time for you now to go and start buying all the actual be the whole world no, just because no, no. your husband is paying bills. Ah, you are now <laughs> investing. Mm -mm, invest. I mean, you are now spending any Rather anyhow. invest. Mm. Rather save. Mm. There is a future. Then there is something mommy said. She mm. said in the future, I want to add this to it. Now the man has strengths. He has ideas. By the time your husband grows older, mm. he may not have that strength. Mm. 
the money mommy said you should save may probably be what you are going to to, 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 to use at that time to fall back on. So no, as you know, as we are reading that question, the first thing you said is hallelujah. If <laughs> someone will just say, "Hey, yeah. how, yes, I so. wish, yes. how I wish, how I wish I can and, have and somebody so please, like that." Men should also mm. emulate what is good. Mm. You know, some men have this money, they will, but they they, they will, will come spend. to the table and say, "How much is the tomato?" The woman say, "Ten naira." Yeah, take my five naira. Yeah, you to They want to share everything. everything with their wife. It's not like that. Mm. This is a good man. Kudos to him. Kudos if, to your husband. Uh -huh. God bless if you. If he's doing it rightly, mm. not to. Give a woman a name, mm. Mm. you know. Mm. Mm. So, anyway, anyhow it falls, the question, the answer has come to you. This one says, "What can you do for a man that picks quarrel with his wife for no reasons, accusing her of infidelity and all sorts of unimaginable mm. allegations?" This is a man that, when he sees the wife, the first thing is just believe that she has gone out. You no, know, you have some men like that. If they see any brother smile. <laughs> You are having something. Mm. If they see somebody greet, oh, this is the person you are going out with now and things like that. So this one says he picks quarrel and, you know, accuses her just at the slightest uh, opportunity. I, so, I, yes, I, hope, I hope the husband is not on drug. I hope he's not a drunk okay. because uh, all those two things, they, they matter. If somebody is a drunk, any little thing, it will flare up. Any, uh, if he sees a man smiling in the direction of the wife, he will pick a quarrel, uh, you know. So if he's not on drug, if he's not, um, he's not a drunk, uh, maybe uh, the wife should, um, you know, draw his attention. And it could also be as a result of um, love disappearing in the home. Because the Bible says love covered multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the manifestations. Mm. This is one of the things you see where there is no love, where there is no unity. Mm. And so love must be rekindled. The first time, like I always say, like we have said on this program, especially in this, our culture, when a man wants to marry a woman at the engagement venue, the man will prostrate. Mm. I hope I'm right, man. Yes, sir. He, he prostrated. So he, they, they normally say it in my place, I, I I I'm beg begging to marry you. Mm. So when, how did it now change that any small thing you begin to accuse your wife? Or it could also mean that maybe the wife too, you cannot really, you know, pinpoint our her movement, her ways. Or maybe it's a wife that has passwarded her phone. Maybe there is somebody else. So you give room for suspicion. Sure. So all these things should be, should be looked into mm. so that you not give uh, your husband this uh, uh, kind of attitude that is not, it doesn't speak well. Mm. Like we always say, every reaction between husband and wife, the children are watching. Mm. We are laying a foundation. We are, we, we are allowing them to have a picture that is not in order with what the Bible says. So we should... Try and avoid all these things so that we don't um, mm. encourage our children growing the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Before she ans uh, answers that question, uh, for those watching, please we have numbers scrolling on the screen. Please you can uh, just put it down for further counselling. We have Mommy Gold Adioye's number and also Pastor Tokupo Ariola's number. So if you need further counselling, you can please make a call to them. Yes, ma. I I'll just speak it from the last uh, where that they stopped, like uh, the woman. Um, the reaction. Um, if this man is always complaining everything, then what does the man want exactly? Have you taken your time to find out what does the man want? Because sometimes when we ask questions, we tend to justify ourselves. Ah, the man is always speaking quarrel at everything. It, there, there should be, there, there, that thing, the man is speaking quarrel. Can you, can, can you please stop it? The man is always speaking quarrel at the things you do. So it already shows that there are things you do. So instead of trying to be uh, safe, why don't you try to correct? Because you want to be safe. I know um, uh, this man is speaking. No, try and correct. But because oh, I just. Like, no, I just, like that, you know, we're answering the question in two ways. Mm -hmm. That you have answered the first part. Mm -hmm. Like maybe the man has issues. Mm -hmm. and so we agree. So we are looking at another dimension now that... Let's agree 
you know, we've answered that question, so you, you should take. Now, we are saying you too, look into what. There could be things you do, like that is taking. That makes him That maybe you even password your phone. And that makes it look as if, you <laughs> maybe you said something. something, maybe a man smiles at you, there's no problem. But when a man smiles at you, and you now smile back, that's when we have the problem. So the problem but is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> it depends. No, you don't understand when I mean smile or back. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, like, I know. I know. A man's gonna tell you like, uh. and the man woman is like, ah, you're a married woman now. And why would you smile like that? So that is where we're looking at. You know, it's not. Uh, of course, yeah, when somebody yeah. smiles at you, you smile back. But when you begin to smile, and you know, the there smile are some is smiling, uh, yeah. and there are and some they're smiling. smiling. Oh, smile sheepishly. Uh, thank yeah. you, sir. That, that, that's. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the husband is looking at you, hey. hey. <laughs> My wife, my own wow. wife, my own Why wife. are you doing like this? <laughs> or maybe each time you go out, you tell the man you are coming by six, and seven thirty you are not yet back, mm. and you are saying the man is always speaking quarrel. Why won't he pick quarrel? You are one hour thirty minutes behind schedule. You are one hour thirty minutes. So look into those things mm. causing problems. Or if he, if he, is, is, he realizes that you are always attending part every Saturday, you have one O and B or the other. Ah. Every Saturday, uh, and you're now saying your the man is speaking will begin to he will speak Korea. He will will suspect you. Mm. Or each time your phone rings, or each time your yeah. phone rings, you leave the whole mm. city room where everybody is sitting. It is there you now look for network. Hello, ah, hello, ah. <laughs> this phone, hello, and you are walking. Hello, 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 so and that, you are going. Uh, your husband will not and then hear the, man the is conversation. Saying, and by the time you are coming back, man, you say, welcome. Mm. And then the quarrel yes, starts, sir. and you are saying, leave me, John. Yeah. That's how you always be picking quarrel. Even if the network is not there, <laughs> it's not good. Sit the down there and tell the person, call me, the network is not good, or you put it on speaker. You build confidence. I mean, we've had two questions like that tonight. Mm, yeah. Yeah, all these things boils down to building confidence. And you trust. See? And trust. Build it. <laughs> there is one level of trust that both of you brought into marriage. But don't stop at it, because it needs to grow. It needs to grow. Now both of you are married. When you were not married, uh, you, you, you don't know each other as much as you are living together because 100 years of courtship cannot be equivalent to one day of marriage. Hmm. It cannot. That it is, cannot. That no is. matter how long we courted. Mm. No matter. The day you now begin to live with each other, both of you require another level of trust to start That's growing. Mm. This time the man is seeing you finish. You too, you are seeing the man finish, seeing the nakedness, seeing everything. So both of you is like you need to, and that is another part where people who are married don't know. They want to carry that uh, courtship attitude to marriage. No, it's different. Mm. So you need to start building that thing all marriage. over again. Yeah. Okay? You know when both of you were cutting, you, you, 24 hours, your phone is with you. Both of you are not even living together. Yeah. But now, when I am married, you don't, you don't keep your phone any, everywhere. You don't still carry it everywhere. You drop it. Please. But people, some people don't know. Yes. And let the you drop it on the table. But you know what? Some ladies, when they want to sleep, they put their phone inside even their bag even and put it under the pillow in the bathroom. Thank yeah. you, sir. Some ladies carry their phone into the, the bedroom. bedroom. Even the men. Some men carry their phone into the bedroom. Yes. And there then is something you, you are, are hiding. There is something. You are hiding and something. And then you are saying the man is a network. network. There is network in there. <laughs> and then you are saying the man is complaining. Why won't the man complain? Yeah, ah, complain. Only you. So mm. please, let's adjust. Let's God, adjust. God be help. Oh. There's Amen. no network outside <laughs> where you are. Uh, There's always network where everybody please. is staying. Mm. So please. Mm? Did when you know the secret? <laughs> When the guys who look for network, you don't want your partner to hear what you are saying. They say, hello, they the know. network is not so good. So anytime you want to do it, let, I want you to, they know mm. there's don't something us, you are hiding. Don't let us scatter our homes by ourselves, ourselves. Mm. by using network as an yeah, excuse. excuse. Mm. But that doesn't mean, like we said too, that does not give the man the reason to nag. Mm. It doesn't give any reason. Okay, so please, if he you love his wife. Love his wife. Mm. And you too, women too, but there are some women that nag. men that are not, um, they have this... Uh, insecurity problem. Yes, you are right, ma. They just don't want anybody to smile to their wife. Why they don't want she? anybody to greet her. Mm. They don't want anybody to associate mm. with her. Mm. They have. Once somebody says, "Ah, how are you?" Is that, who this is man that? is already sleeping with. In fact, oh, yeah. once you smile at your wife, you, you have already slept mm. with her. Mm. For men like that, we're saying tonight so, so that you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. It could be, it, 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 there's, 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 there's something that is called in psychology, it, like you just said, it could be an inferiority complex, it could be an insecurity complex the person is suffering from. And these uh, problems are a product of accumulated problems over time. Maybe the man, when he was growing up, mm. saw cheating and he now believes that every, every woman, woman cheats. Mm. 
And again, to shock you, man, it could be what he's doing. Yeah. It could yeah. be what he's doing. Yeah. So some people who do it, they don't want it to be done to them. You know, there's so a proverb that are, says somebody that uses uh, uh, swords to want cut people's heads. They don't want it to bring it near. Exactly. And some people even mm -hmm. extend it to their children too because they go out to uh, mm. chase uh, younger people. Mm. Anybody that wants to say hello to their A children, child. oh ah. my God, their, oh, blood yeah. their blood pressure will rise. Will rise. Mm. Just to so, corroborate what yes. one is saying. So they, they, this problem is actually as many tentacles and we're trying to treat it one yes. after the other. So if it, this is the reason, this is the solution. If this is the reason, this is the solution. I think we've given like three solutions now. Mm. So the woman should pick one that is peculiar mm. to, her. to her. The woman should pick the one that is peculiar to her mm. and then God will help her. With the love of mm. the Holy Spirit, prayer. Because prayer. most of the problems we are having in marriages, it's a reflection that we're not praying enough. It's a reflection that husband and wife, when last did you hold yourself yes, and pray? The ministry is, uh, your marriage is a ministry. Mm -hmm. And the enemy is not happy. I mean, I think we should keep reminding ourselves yes, that. Yeah. Because sometimes when couples have problems in marriage, they forget that they have an enemy. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you have an enemy. Mm -hmm. Both of the you have an enemy. Always wanted uh -huh. to scatter so, it. It's not, it's not like ordinary. Uh -huh. seeking Who to devour. So it's not ordinary so, sometimes. The devil does not want uh -huh. us to be happy. So with, but with the weapon of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. With the weapon of you praying, praying more in the spirit, with yeah. the weapon of you staying more. Mm. And this husband is always complaining. You should read the Bible more. Mm. You know, when you don't read the Bible, you are agitated. But when you, you pray more, the Holy Spirit helps you to calm down your emotion. Mm. Mm. The Lord will help. Amen. Amen. It will get better. Amen. Amen. Marriage is a ministry. Mm. Mm. It is a ministry. Mm. And when we take it from that angle, mm. we'll be able to address things the way God wants it mm. done. Yes. When we only look at it as just a societal, uh, a social thing, mm. that is when we have problems coming in. But when it's a ministry, you know you have to pray, mm. you have to work, you have to mm. study. Mm. So many things have to be put together mm. to ensure that that ministry mm. stands. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, have to, we have to be on the run, but mm. don't worry. Uh, we'll still be back same time next week. Mm. But before we go, we want you to... Um, just if you have anything laid in your heart, if you want to sponsor this program, um, we want you to please check the numbers that are scrolling. You can call any marketer on the, num or the numbers on the line and um, we'll get to talk to you. I want you to know that this is a, a program you can invest in and uh, when we bring your product, we will advertise it and God himself we breathe on it Amen. and it will blow if I can use that language yeah. and the Lord will bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Yes, before we go, we wrap it up with a word of prayer coming from Pastor Mrs. Gold. Oh Lord God, the possessor of heaven and earth, we thank you. Thank, thank you Lord. We we'll bless and appreciate you because yes, only you are God. Mm -hmm. From ages to ages, you are God. Mm -hmm. You alone are the ageless God. Baba, we bow before you. Yes, Daddy. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because your word has come out this evening. Holy Spirit will pray, you will pray on it. Amen. For everyone that has listened to us tonight, we decree, let there be peace. Amen. Let there be love. Amen. Let there be love. Amen. Let there be love. Amen. Be love. Amen. In every home that are listening to us right now, and every home, oh God, let there be love in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, for people who are going through issues right now, right now, that they cannot even share with anyone. People that are going through situations they cannot even talk about. Father, please. Attend to them Amen. right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we'll return all the glory to you for Amen. tonight's episode. We ask the Lord you will continue with us. Amen. So that any time the trumpet will sound, hmm. please make us rapturable. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Daddy. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Mrs. Goldadi Oye. And also you, thank you, Pastor Tukwarela, for thank coming. Please you. don't forget the purpose for marriage is so that our life can be better and not bitter. So please, whatever it is, don't engage in no network. Make sure that there is network where you are. And always find a way to trust in your heart. Trust your partner. Trust your husband. Trust your wife. Build on it, and you will see God show up for you. And I know that that home that you are looking at today as if there is nothing good coming, something better is coming out of that marriage. Amen. And you are going to rejoice. Amen. I remain Oluwato Yolale Kong. Till we come your way, same time next week, we say bye and God bless you. Amen. Amen.